Hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we are going to check out a video by Akshat titled as uh, Why I have these 10 low risk stocks in my portfolio. Fundamental analysis. Let's jump to the video. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So very recently the markets hit an all time high crossing 20,000 levels. The very next day when I'm shooting this video as on Tuesday, the market started correcting a bit and especially the finance stocks corrected a lot today. So people started panicking that a deal percent correction, one and a half percent correction on finance stocks, banks to buy. News people started saying that you know what, banks are done, is that right? Some people or some analysts started saying that you know what, small cap, mid cap rally over and all this bad bad stuff is going to happen from this point, correction will be ready. Ho jau. And people started panicking. I started getting so many messages from my students, ki, you know what, Akshat, is this like the start of a bear run, what is going to happen, this that. See, the reason why we start panicking after investing a little bit of money is that we don't understand how risk is managed and what exactly risk is in the market. Now, lowering your risk on your portfolio is a great move, but you should also do the same for your career. Now, Mr. Kunal Shah said in an interview that 90% of the jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence. So picking up such skills becomes extremely critical for you in your career. You can do this absolutely for free by attending a workshop by the partners of today's video, which is Growth School. They run a three hour paid workshop on artificial intelligence and chat GPT. You can attend this workshop for free, absolutely for free by using the links in the description and comment box. This offer is only valid for first 1000 students. This workshop is taught by Weber Sesanthi, who is the founder of Growth School and he has a very friendly way of teaching this entire workshop. So do check out the links and on top of that Growth School runs a series of different workshops on varied topics like marketing. They do it for UI UX design. They do it for product management. So you could check out these workshops as well. And these are also available for free for first 1000 students. These workshops are taught by industry experts who have worked at companies like Google, Uber, Meta and all these big brand companies. Growth School has helped almost 800,000 students in upskilling. So do check out the links and start your upskilling journey today. So with that said, let's move over to the main video. So on this video, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to help you understand how to assess risk in the market and assess risk with the type of stocks that you have. Second key point, I will take you through five to 10 key large cap stocks where the risk is lower. Abhiye mat karna that you just skip to the second section and don't watch the first section because first section is the basics. If you don't study the basics, just getting stock names, that will not help because the names of the stocks can also keep changing depending on the market circumstances. So with that spirit in mind, let us kickstart our video. So okay, in order to understand how to assess risk with your stocks, you have put your money in the stock market. Now how do you understand which stocks that you have in your portfolio are risky versus non-risky? You will say yeah, small caps are always risky, large caps are not risky. Yes, that's one way of looking at it. But you have to be slightly more nuanced. So the word of the day today is nuanced. Let me know the meaning. So anyways, if you study these eight steps and eight points, you will have a much better appreciation of the risks that your current stocks have. So the first key risk is called as the market risk. Now in very simple language, market risk means that if the entire market corrects, how much would your stock correct by? So for example, when the COVID situation came, almost every single stock on the Indian stock exchange and even the US stock exchange, it corrected, right? That was a market risk. Similarly, when the Russia-Ukraine war broke out, again, the markets corrected. So that is a market risk. If you have any stock, it will definitely correct. Now, some stocks which are higher beta stocks, I have explained this concept earlier. So I would request one of you to jot down what is the meaning of beta. Now, higher beta stocks correct more. For example, Abhi, in 2023, as I'm making this video, if there is some kind of new crisis that happens, then which type of stocks are likely to correct the most? Well, finance stocks are likely to correct the most. Why is that? Because finance stocks have higher beta compared to the market. In simple language, it means that when the market, entire market goes up, then finance stocks are likely to go up more. And if the entire market falls down, then finance stocks are likely to correct more also. So I hope that this is the first point. Market risk mitigate karne ke liye, there is not much you can do. All you can do is that you can diversify your risk across different asset classes. Thoda ta real estate le lo, thoda gold le lo, thoda equities le lo, bonds le lo, all that stuff. So you have to do asset allocation. So then let's move on to point number two, which is liquidity risk. Now liquidity risk means, and let me explain this by using Adani example, or even better, let me explain it by using Baiju 
Baiju's example. Now, if you consider companies like Adani or Baiju's, why have they been getting crushed a little bit? You'll say, yeah, Hindenburg scam ho gaya tha, so therefore like Adani stocks fell. No, the story is much murkier than that. The reason why Adani stocks fell was that there were liquidity constraints. Yeah, you know what, kal ko, agar aapko liquidate karne padha hai, Adani assets, then will the debtors or will the people be able to recover their entire assets? Some kind of similar story played out in the Yes Bank group also that, you know what, there were like liquidity constraints. That will the company be able to repay its debt, repay its obligations? That is called as liquidity risk. So if you are owning very high debt, small cap companies right now, you have taken excessive risk in your portfolio. So that's an example. Tha. I hope that you get the point. I'm not here to criticize any group, any company, this, that. Please don't take it in that viewpoint. Then comes the third key point that there are certain industries where the profitability gets hit. Certain stocks where profitability gets hit. A classic case in point is that of Relaxo right now, right? That the sales have been okay. It's not as if that sales problem is but it's OPM or operating profit margin has come down. So for such stocks, you need to ask a very basic question, Ki, yaar, iska OPM or operating profit margin in, will it go back up now you need to ask certain questions and do basic math that does holding stocks like relaxo make sense for you do you see the profit margins of relaxo improving from that point how will the profit margins improve well if they can raise the prices of their product well are they doing it well not by much the second option is that they can just somehow become very good manufacturers they are manufacturing costly come kar now that you can do only up to an extent. So net net is you know what, if you are holding companies that do not have pricing power, it becomes an issue. Then comes the fourth point, which is the valuation risk. Now valuation risk means that you bought good stocks, but you bought them at crazy high prices. Now, as a result, your entire portfolio starts doing really badly. Now, if you are someone who purchased like DMART at its peak, guess what? DMART is still a good stock. It's not as if that the company does not have pricing power or the company bechni paigi mal and all that stuff. But if you have purchased a good stock at a really bad price, then you have taken a lot of risk. Now you say, Acha, ab kaise ho rahi hai cheez? Now for that, you need to understand the capital goods narrative that is being played out in the market. So I'm hearing a lot. You know what capital goods companies you hain? they are going to become like the next big thing, right? For example, Bharat Forge. So let me show you the chart also. And here is a chart for Bharat Forge, right? And Bharat Forge and Capital Goods Company, what do they typically do? They basically provide like machinery, heavy parts and all that stuff that goes into manufacturing the end goods, right? So here, if you take a look that at the bottom, the stock was at roughly 200, 250 rupees. Now the stock has gone up by at least four times in a matter of three years. Now, if you are buying the stock here, right? Now, do you stand to make like crazy amount of money? I don't know. But this is the narrative that is playing out in a lot of capital goods oriented stocks. Now it is your decision whether you want to take risk here by buying these type of stocks. Now, same is the story with Tata Motors also. So if you take a look that Tata Motors used to be at 65, right now it is at 620. So 10x gain ho chuka hai. So you are taking massive valuation risk by buying these stocks here, right at this point, absolute at peak when it is hit its all time high levels. Now I'm not saying that these stocks cannot go up, but please understand the risk that you're taking by buying these. Stocks. So the next risk comes from the industry risk. For example, there are certain industries where the growth rate of the industry itself is less than let's say 5%, right? So if that industry itself is displaying such bad growth rate, then what is the point for you to enter into these type of stocks, right? So that's a basic question that you need to ask. This story plays out in majority of the commodity stocks, even now. Yeah, power itni ho jayegi, utni ho jayegi and all that stuff. Again, that all narrative building, I don't know what is true or not. You guys have to make your own call, okay? So then comes the regulation risk, right? So recently you would have heard the news that even Ashni Rover was making a lot of noise, that tax laga diya, GST kar diya, ye wo. In which sector? In gaming sector. It was a highly regulated sector or rather it is a very highly regulated sector. There is a lot of regulation risk associated with gaming. Now, whatever gaming stocks have been crushed, 28% GST has already been put. So if you are going and buying these type of stocks now, are you taking more risk or less risk? I will leave that judgment up to you. Then comes the market cycle risk. This is very, very important. And there are a lot of stocks for especially commodity stocks, like auto stocks, right? There is a massive market cycle. So if you consider Maruti's story and here you can check that since 2017, this is 2017, it has been a cyclical stocks. It moves in these cycles, right? Yek cycle away, yek cycle away, yek cycle away, yek cycle away. This is a cycle. This is a broad cycle that is going on. So these cyclical stocks, especially auto stocks, commodity stocks, these are highly cyclical in nature. 
if you catch them in a good cycle great for you nothing bad there but if you catch them in a bad cycle you will get trapped very badly opposite is happening in amc stocks that i'm going to speak about briefly that there is a positive cycle that is going on in amc i'll explain that to you when i speak about large cap low risk stocks i will cover that story here but i hope you got the perspective that this is the next type of risk that you are taking by entering in certain type of stocks okay so then comes the last part which is the innovation or competition risk that ev pe itni baatein ho rahi hain that you know every company is going to pivot to ev this that palana dinka and all that stuff maybe maybe not we don't know how the innovation plays out can you guarantee that ev is going to be the next thing maybe some other new technology will come ho sakta hai kare unne lage who knows so nothing can be said about innovation if you are catching these type of stocks early in the cycle if you would have purchased tata motors early on then it makes a lot of sense but if now you are buying then it's a bad stock same the reason why i'm telling you this is ki defense stocks bahut sari baatein ho rahi hai so again you can apply your logic apply this entire framework and reach your own conclusions to assess the risk on your portfolio if you enjoy this conversation there are more topics that i will be teaching on my live stock market course there are only 200 seats on that live stock market course so that more attention can be given entire course is live it's a crash course that would be completed over two weekends aapko sirf do weekends spend karne hai intensively so your learning curve will be really really fast on it i will teach you how to construct a portfolio if you are not from an economics finance background i will teach you macro investing which is fairly easier way of investing in the stock market you have to keep large trends in mind and build positions in fact maybe din bas screen pe nahi laga raha tha in order to analyze the stock performances so i will teach you macro investing you will understand fundamental analysis business analysis technical analysis everything in mind so do check out the links in the description and comment box it's a very extensive course it comes with one year community access if this seems suitable for you you could consider signing up the seats are likely to get filled in the next 24 to 48 hours so with that said let me apply all these specific frameworks to individual stocks that i'm going to speak about so the first large cap stocks that i feel is at an okay valuation aisi koi khas problem nahi hai and it's not as if that you're taking massive risk by buying into this stock even now is hdfc amc now i had been buying this stock quite aggressively for the last several months saurav mukherjee sold it i got a lot of questions ki he sold it why he not selling it this that and since april 2023 it has given almost 60 70% gains at one point in time i was sitting at a loss of like 35 40% on this stock now it has turned into profit now the reason why i am saying that amc industry will do well i have explained the basic time and time again but i will quickly recap it so there are two three reasons there so first and foremost the amc companies always grows more in a growing market now what is the meaning of growing market growing market means ki as a 15000 pe tha nifty now at 20000 automatically the profit margins of amc companies will grow why because their aum asset under management aum simply means that how much money is that particular company handling so that itself grows right and how do amc companies like hdfc amcs make money well they make in terms of commissions so if the aum the total assets that they are going to manage that itself grows because of the growing market size something like amc companies are going to become even more profitable over the next 2 3 quarters now the second reason for growth from amc company is that see new buyers come into the market nay buyers kab aate hain retail investors when they see like their friends making a lot of money all that stuff so they enter into this euphoria mode everyone starts investing more and more money who benefits the most well amc companies then third is that the existing players for example aap invest kare rakhe hoge but you might start investing little bit more money when the markets are going up so given all these things it is highly unlikely that from this point right and i will just show you the numbers also that from this point these results that you are seeing and i am highlighting these results are not going to come down this is likely to become like 2500 then 3000 3500 the opm or operating profit margin was always fairly high to begin with so this is not getting crashed the profits will soon become all time high now the counter argument that i get is ki yaar amc company mein to bahut competition aa raha hai wagera wagera problem ho rahi hai everyone is starting their amc company so won't the amc business get crushed the short answer is no this is a growing industry there is competition risk no doubt about that but when the industry itself grows so if the size of the pie was this now it has become this so yahan pe aap maan lo that hdfc amc had like 10% share here if it only has 5% then also because the size of the pie has tripled 
HDFC MC will still continue to make like decent amount of money. It will still stay profitable and at least previous high with the eyes on us, right? So therefore I say, and you can run it through the framework that I've suggested. You can make your own call, whether it makes sense to buy it or not. Buy it. Okay. So then comes the second low risk option here, which according to me are banks. Now the reason why I'm again covering banks today is very simple. I've been hearing so much commentary from top stock analysts. You know what banks khatam hai, right? Why? that you know banks are bura dhor shuru hai why because the interest rates right interest rates are going to come down and as the interest rate comes down jo aap se loan rate charge kara jata tha for example let's say 9% home loan jo aap se charge kara jata tha now that might come to like 7 7 and a half and as a result the banks are going to lose a lot of business okay so let's again run through that framework industry risk hai bank mein no regulation risk right it is highly regulated koi bhi nahi regulate karne ke liye so again that risk is not there are banks growing the short answer is that you can take a look at any bank's number right at this stage almost like that 9 out of 10 banks are sitting on their highest ever profit highest ever revenues right so you can see right 2018 kotak bank had like 20000 revenues डबल कर दिए पाँच साल में डबल किया फाइव टाइम्स कर दिया वॉट इज दी कैगर और प्रॉफिट ग्रोथ रेट राइट ऑन अ थ्री ईयर बेसिस इट इज स्टिल कंपाउंडिंग एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट यू रियलाइज दट हाउ मच ट्वेंटी परसेंट ग्रोथ रेट इज पीपल बिकम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी इफ देर पोर्टफोलियो गिव मोर देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट कैगर राइट दिस बैंक इज कंपाउंडिंग एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट कैगर डू द सेम एनालिस फॉर एच डी एफ सी डू द सेम एनालिस फॉर आई सी आई सी आई एक्सिस बैंक एस बी आई कैनरा बैंक बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा एनी थिंग दैट यू लुक एट इट्स नॉट एज एफ दैट इनके दिन खत्म हो गए राइट द इंटायर एन पी एफ और बैंक क्लीन अप प्रॉब्लम इंडेड समवेयर इन ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन राइट नाउ वी आर इन अ क्रेडिट एक्सपेंशन साइकिल वेन दी क्रेडिट श्रिंक इट साइकिल बिकम्स दैट्स वेन यू कूड पॉसिबली वरी अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट बैंक बट एज ऑफ नाउ इट मेक्स सेंस टू मी एंड इवन फ्रॉम अ वैल्यूएशन रिस्क कि भाई कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक का तो पी बहुत ज्यादा होता है ओके सो टेक अ लुक एट द पी ऑफ कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक इट इज राइट नाउ ट्रेडिंग एट अ पी ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू वेन वॉज द लास्ट टाइम दैट दिस पी एक्सिस्टेड ऑन कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक इट वॉज समेर इन टू थाउजेंड एट वेन देर वॉज अ बैंक इनिशिएटेड फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस सो आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू पुश यू दैट यू शुड बाय बैंक्स नॉट बाय बैंक्स बट आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग यू क्लियर मैंने आपको आठ नौ स्टेप्स बताए थे वैल्यूएशन रिस्क इंडस्ट्री रिस्क ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ रिस्क सो अनलेस देर इज अ मार्केट रिस्क दैट हैपन्स टू प्ले आउट इट इज अनलाइकली दट बैंक आर गोइंग टू करेक्ट क्वाइट अग्रेसिवली फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सो देन कम्स दी थर्ड कैटेगरी ऑफ सेफर स्टॉक्स विच अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आर पेंट स्टॉक्स राइट सो जब पेंट का नाम आता है तो एशियन पेंट आई गई Think about it. That is the industry growing. Yes, the paint industry at least grows at 15% per year. Why? Because the prices of paint keeps on going up every year. And I will show you too, so you are able to see. So, for example, its profit margin back in let's say 2017, 2018 time, it was around 20%, 21%. Then it fell a little bit. Now it's rising again. So, Asian paints is going to go back to its previous profitability. There will be tailwinds. Tailwind means that the support will be coming back because of market conditions. For example, Diwali आ रही है festive season, New Year. People will get their houses paint, right? New construction happening. So with that, if you have like three, four quarter viewpoint on something like Asian paints, why will it not grow at least to its previous height, right? So again, this becomes a slightly lower risk. The only issue that you could possibly point to is the valuation risk, and this is legitimate concern also because see. This valuation existed two years ago. So if the stock is in that correction mode, right? Ki yar, yaha pe, yaha se yaha tak, there was a massive rally that happened, and then it consolidated for two years, right? So, ho sakta hai ki you know what, the stock is not going to give like bumper returns. So I'm not even speaking about bumper returns. I'm saying that you know what, the stock. can easily compound at 15 20% kagar which is the compounding growth rate of this stock especially if you are buying here because you might be buying it after 2 years correction according to me this is a good stock from that perspective and not only asian paints this is a trend that is being depicted by majority of paint companies consider indigo paints burger all look good from this particular angle so then comes the next stock which is fmcg and here naam aata hai hindustan unilever ka see i am a big fan of hindustan unilever i have invested a lot of my money in hindustan unilever but hul type of stocks do fairly well in a defensive market not in an aggressive market when the markets are going up so if you are of the view point that the markets will go from 20000 to 21 and a half thousand then something like hindustan unilever might not give the type of growth other stocks are doing why because the nature of the stock is defensive right but having said this if you want to build a balanced portfolio right so a balanced portfolio will comprise of aggressive stocks and defensive stocks so from that perspective hindustan unilever is trading below its 200 day moving average right and usually aap iski सारी हिस्ट्री उठा के देख लो 
इट ऑलवेज ऑलमोस्ट ट्रेड्स हैड इट्स वन डे मूविंग एवरेज थोड़ा नीचे ऊपर होता रहता है बट फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव देर इज नो मैसेव रिस्क ऑन समथिंग लाइक हिंदुस्तान यूनिट लेवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय एंड रीबैलेंस योर पोर्टफोलियो स्लाइटली मोर अग्रेसिव एंड डिफेंसिव मिक्स आई ऑल्सो गेट अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज ऑन एवेन्यू सुपर मार्ट और डी मार्ट राइट सो आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी ऑन डी मार्ट नाउ आई कैन डाउनवर्ड एवरेज इट और अपवर्ड एवरेज इट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मार्केट सरकमस्टांस सो देर इज लिटिल बिट ऑफ रूम लेफ्ट फॉर मी टू डू दैट बट आई स्टार्टेड बाइंग डी मार्ट रेली लेट राइट सो मेरे को इतने महंगे में मिला नहीं आई एम एक्चुअली सेटिंग ऑन प्रॉफिट एज ऑफ नाउ एंड आई अगेन डू नॉट थिंक दैट डी मार्ट इज एट अ क्रेजी वैल्यूएशन आप इंडस्ट्री रिस्क के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से समझ सकते हो दैट दी रिटेल मार्केट स्लैश एम सी जी मार्केट इन इंडिया इज वन ऑफ दी फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग मार्केट सो कंपनीज लाइक एच यू एल कंपनीज लाइक डी मार्ट आर लाइकली टू डू वेल टू बिगिन विद सो दैट्स पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू दैट डू दीज कंपनीज हैव प्राइजिंग पावर येस बोथ द कंपनीज हैव न पॉइंट नंबर थ्री दैट आर दे अवेलेबल एट अ डिसेंट प्राइस और इज देर वैल्यूएशन रिस्क यार That is always up for debate की यार कि सही पी क्या होना चाहिए एवेन्यू सुपर मार्ट का नो वन कैन गेस्ट बट सी प्लीज नोटिस दिस दैट दिस स्टॉक और दी बिजनेस इज कंपाउंडिंग एट ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट क्या जाता है सो इट्स नॉट एज इफ दैट बिकॉज द साइज ऑफ डी मार्ट इज ह्यूज टू मंगस वो बढ़ नहीं सकती कंपनी इट कैन स्टिल प्रिटी मच डबल इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स बिकॉज ऑफ दी कंपाउंडेड ग्रोथ रेट इट इज विटनेसिंग सो प्लीज डोंट डिस्काउंट द स्टॉक्स एट जस्ट बिकॉज की बड़ी कंपनी हो गई है पांच साल में इट कैन नॉट डबल इन साइज इट कैन डबल इन साइज इट इज कंपाउंडिंग एट लाइक यू नो ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट क्या है सो देन द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ स्टॉक्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट आर अदर फाइनेंस स्टॉक्स फॉर एक्जाम्पल आई हेड बीन अ बिग इन्वेस्टर ऑन समथिंग लाइक लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एच डी एफ सी लाइफ इंश्योरेंस अगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज आर अ डिसेंट वैल्यूएशन कुछ ऐसे में प्रॉब्लम नहीं है येस इट हैज गिवन आर अनअप बिकॉज इट वॉज सपोज टू गिवन अनअप दी मेडिकल इन्फ्लेशन हेल्थ केयर इन्फ्लेशन इन इंडिया इज क्लोज टू फोर्टीन परसेंट वॉट इज दैट मीन इट मीन्स कि आपके इंश्योरेंस की कीमत भी तो एटलीस्ट फोर्टीन परसेंट से बनेगी वॉट इज दैट मीन दैट इनडायरेक्टली मीन्स दैट योर प्रीमियम इज एटलीस्ट गोइंग टू गो अप बाई लाइक फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो चौदह पंद्रह परसेंट की तो ग्रोथ यहीं से आ गई राइट सो इफ यू आर होल्डिंग इट फॉर टू थ्री ईयर्स Just hold it for टू थ्री years. At least फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ग्रोथ विल कम जस्ट फ्रॉम प्रीमियम इंक्रीजेज एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इफ मोर पीपल आर बाइंग इंश्योरेंस बिकॉज इंडिया इज एन अंडर पेनेट्रेटेड मार्केट इट अगेन बिकम्स लाइक अ वेरी गुड ग्रोथ स्टोरी टू राइड ऑन सो ओके आई वॉन्टेड टू कवर मोर स्टॉक्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई थिंक दैट आई विल रन आउट ऑफ टाइम सो फ्रॉम दैट व्यू पॉइंट वॉट आई विल डू एस दैट आई विल मेक पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस वीडियो ऑन माई हिंदी चैनल इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन डू कंसिडर चेकिंग दिस वीडियो आउट वेर आई डिस्कस्ड माई प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस फ्रॉम दी स्टॉक मार्केट आई इन्वेस्ट अ लार्ज चंक ऑफ माई मनी इन सेफर स्टॉक्स सो इफ यू जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस पी एन एल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट माई स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग एज एंड यू कैन पॉसिबली पे क्या फ्यू